Yam and plantain pottage is an incredibly rich and delicious combination of yam and plantain. Some people prefer just the plantain pottage on its own, but I prefer this combination because the plantain adds another level of sweetness to the meal. If you want to know more, keep watching, like my video and subscribe. Welcome to my channel. For this recipe, I'll be making use of smoked fish. You can use any type. You can also make use of stock fish or even fresh fish. For me, this is compulsory, it's not optional because it has a special flavor it gives to the meal. I'm thoroughly washing it with salt and deboning it and I'll also eviscerate it. Then wash it a second time and it is ready for cooking. Here I have my washed plantain. This is about a small size and I will be cutting it into smaller sizes. You can also make use of unripe plantain if you don't like ripe or you don't want to use ripe. I prefer using a lesser quantity of plantain in this combination because the plantain sweetness won't be so potent. And if you don't want that, you can always use more plantain. Here I have my already peeled, washed and um, sliced yam, which I'll be cutting into smaller sizes. If yam is not readily available, you can also make use of sweet potato. Just make sure you don't overcook them because Potatoes cook faster than yam. Next, I'll be making use of um, two small onions, which I would cut open. I always cut my onion open to make sure there is no spoilage in the middle. Sometimes onion starts spoiling from the inside, and to avoid cooking with rotten onion, I cut it open and check it before using. And I would also be making use of fresh tomatoes. Yeah, um, for this meal, sometimes people make use of tomato stew, but I prefer using the fresh tomatoes. And for me, the more the fresh tomatoes, the merrier. Here I have a handful of vegetables. This is pumpkin leaf, also known as ugu. You can make use of spinach, green. You can make use of any vegetable of your choice you can also make use of scent leaf you can also make use of shoko a for shoko in a pan set on medium heat add about one quarter cup of palm oil then cover and bleach for two to three minutes and my oil is bleached i'm going to add my chopped onion and saute for two minutes then i'll be adding blended scotch bonnet also known as atarudo well you can put the quantity of pepper you want i wanted it hot so i added about three spoons of blended pepper then add sliced tomatoes you can also make it crushed tomatoes or even use tomato stew in place then you stir and cook for 12 minutes you stir occasionally so it doesn't burn then you add two cubes of seasoning salt to taste you add your blended crayfish. I love the taste and flavor this gives my meal. Then you add your smoked fish. Remember, you can also make use of stock fish, and then you can add prawns if you want. Then add your chopped up plantain and add your cut up yam. Add about two to three cups of water. You can always add more. If you want combine and cook on low heat for 10 to 15 minutes or until the yam is thoroughly cooked you can stir paste and adjust for seasoning 
then you cover and cook for five minutes if not you stay then add your vegetables remember you can always make use of any vegetable of your choice stir in your vegetables and turn off heat and yam and plantain pottage is ready what would you love to wash this meal down with this recipe is so flavorful it's comforting and nice and let's not forget it's also yummy it can be eaten as breakfast lunch dinner it can be eaten any time of the day thank you for joining me today don't forget to like my video comment ask questions and subscribe see you next time bye